Today FM. Today, Today FM, FM rocks. rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, consumers warned against shoddy goods. Reserve Bank launches Fiji Day notes. And more drunkards arrested for curfew breaches. From the studios of FBC Suva, Atera Lendua. A 27 year old man who was drunk and causing trouble outside a closed supermarket in Lamy was arrested for breaching curfew last night. Acting Police Commissioner Rusiati Tundravu said the man wanted to buy more liquor. Tundravu said five people were arrested for breaching curfew from 11 last night to 4 this morning. The Western Division recorded four cases, while the Southern Division recorded one. The arrests were made in the Western Division were recorded in Lothoka and Nandi and involved men who were all drunk during their time of arrest. Tundrabu says, with a busy weekend ahead, they hope everyone will plan their activities well ahead of time to avoid being caught out during curfew hours. The state in the case against former Fijian Holdings Chief Executive Nozab Farid today informed the magistrate's court that flights were still being arranged for a witness stuck in South Korea. Farid is charged with three counts of indecent assault and the matter was called before the court today with Farid's presence excused. It is alleged that the com he committed the offences against two female employees of the FHL group. Trial has been set for December 1st. A commemorative $50 bill has been launched to mark Fiji's 50th independence anniversary. Speaking at the launch, Prime Minister Borenge Baini Marama said Fijian history has been immortalized on the newly designed banknote. The bill is strikingly vibrant and colorful with a transparent clock face that is chiming 10 o'clock, the exact moment Fiji's flag was raised on the 10th of October 1970. The $50 bill is now available in the market. The RBF also launched a new commemorative 50 cents coin which will be distributed to all students attending schools around the country from year one to year 13. It is one that I hope we can learn from and reflect on for generations to come. One that our children and grandchildren can look back on and see how strong our nation has grown in the years since. See how we healed, how we came together, and how our 50th anniversary marked the beginning of yet another new chapter, one of Fijian resilience. The Consumer Council is calling on Fijians to be vigilant and watch for traders trying to get rid of old stock during sales. Council Chief Executive Sima Shandil says, in the past, traders have tried to clear out damaged products, which is unethical. Consumers are being warned not to assume that all purchases will benefit them. This is not for the first time Suva is going on sale. They recently, uh, you know, they were seri every year it used to go on sale. And we, what we noticed was that, you know, sometimes the traders were just trying to get rid of the old stock, damaged stock. So here, once again, I would like to urge the customers, or the consumers, they have a responsibility. Please, before you purchase any item, make sure you check the quality. The Suva Retailers Association says businesses are trying to pass on the benefits of tax reductions to consumers during the Suva on sale. Traders have also been told to uphold the law and not to exploit consumers. Fiji's largest car dealer, Asco Motors, pre-sold 70% percent of the new uh, 2020 Toyota Hiluxes before their official launch last night. Speaking at the launch and the 50, Fiji 50th year of independence celebrations last night, Asco Motors Chief Executive Craig Sims says despite the pandemic, the demand for cars still remains. Sim says the effects of the COVID-19 in our economy will not hold Asco Motors back in working to provide the best car service to Fijians. 
Yes, there is. There certainly is. Um, it, it is, of course, lower pre-COVID. But what we're finding is there, there is definitely demand. Um, people want to get out and experience. Work is going on for, for most people. So people do need transport. So there is some demand, a little bit lower than previous pre-COVID, but still demand. It was a sea of blue and white at the Langere market this morning as vendors and residents of Nasinu began their Fiji Day celebrations. Vendors from different backgrounds worked together throughout the week to deck out stores at, with decorations commemorating Fiji's 50th year of independence. People broke out in dance and song throughout the morning as vendors also had competitions running for best decorations and best dressed. While officiating at the event, Minister for Local Government Pramila Kumar acknowledged the creativity of the people of Nasinu in putting together today's event. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the market vendors for putting up a great show. I truly admire the decorations you have put up and thank you for your festive spirit that you have shown today. Up ahead, local players to join barbarians and Charetzlo sees improvement in local football. Bula FM, number two and a Bula FM, number two and Some Skipper Cup players will join the Barbarian squad for their clash with England later this month. This has been confirmed by Fiji Rugby Union Chief Executive John O'Connor in an exclusive interview with FBC Sports. O'Connor says some of the players will then join the Flying Fijian side for the Autumn Nations Cup. Well, uh, those players who have been selected for the Barbarians, uh, well, I think their flights have been shortened and they will fly to New Zealand. And from New Zealand, they will uh, fly with Vern and his coaching panel into the barbarian camps in the UK. They will train, prepare. Few of the players will return back after that match. The other players that uh, uh, Vern has identified then will join uh, the Flying Fijian camps. Eh? One of the founding players in the Northern Rugby Club, Ili Melek in Delasau, believes the team can make the Skipper Cup next year. The team has qualified for the semi-finals of the Vanua Cup, a step away from qualifying for the main competition. Delasau says while he trusts the leadership of the current officials and the abilities of the players, there are still a lot of work to be done. Northland will have to maintain their composure, they will have to maintain the consistency, they will have to polish up on a lot of uh, set-piece play, but at the moment I do try, have trust in them through this uh, new Northland players and I hope that they perform well and win the same final to make them qualify for the Skipper Cup next year. National football coach Fleming Sharetslev has noted some improvement in the performance of players at the court's inter-district championship. He says the skills of the players and intensity of the games has lifted in both the premier and senior division compared to the Battle of the Giants in August. Sharetslev says seeing the progress evident in the team performances means they are on track to achieving the goals they've set out for the development of football in the country teams trying to play like we want to play. Uh, it means we pl want to play a fast game on the ground, try to play forward if it's possible to uh, play forward. We saw that uh, and one thing has improved in the Premier League, it's the intensity uh, of the games. It was actually uh, totally okay. Fijian welterweight champion Ronald the Terminator Naidu is looking forward to his rematch with Chese the Hitman Rabundi next month. The two will be fighting for the vacant World Boxing Foundation, WBF, Asia Pacific Super Welterweight title at Prince Charles Park on the 14th. The last time the two met, Naidu won on a unanimous points decision. The Mulumulo boxer says he's counting down the days. Just uh, sparring with the Mulumulo boys, the club, and the Silver in Hawaii, Samal Ramanuj. Doing like three day uh, training in the day, three times a day, and it's really good. So yeah, I fought him once. Uh, this time I'll go for earlier, earlier knockouts.
occasional showers with isolated thunderstorms over Yasawa and the Mamanuza group, with Nolevu, Tabuni, and nearby smaller islands. The eastern parts and interior of the other larger islands, Lao and the Lomaiviti groups. Showers gradually easing to some showers from later tomorrow. And that's your FBC News Now. Join us again at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. In times of crisis, you need news you can trust. Get the facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj. Keeping Fijians connected with the truth. Enjoy your lunch. Bula FM. Number 2 NSR. Bula FM. Number 2 NSR.